protection, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. I will each and every one of you lovely souls are feeling amazing on the Saturn's day. We are riding some very powerful energy right now. We have Scorpio full moon. We have uh, the Aries lunar eclipse. We also have this uh, Pluto um, retrograde, Mercury's in retrograde, and we are in Taurus season. So very powerful energy going on. Scorpio and um, Pisces, I mean, well, I said Scorpio, I almost said Cancer, and then I said Pisces. So you all may be dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, um, or another, or, or another uh, water sign, Cancer. So you could be dealing with a water sign, or maybe there's just um, a healing. There's some healing that's being done, or maybe there's some some sort of um, purge. Maybe you are uh, going through a purification process. Maybe you're doing a lot of spiritual baths at this time, or you've been called. Um, maybe you're being called to do a spiritual bath. Maybe now is the time to really cleanse your energy, to detox, uh, to clean, clear, cleanse your energy, um, to even clean, clear, cleanse your space. Uh, we went through that spring cleaning season, so maybe some of you are still, you know, you've yet to do that, and maybe that's what spirit is saying because I keep seeing the word purge I keep hearing the word purge as well in my mind's eye but I'm also hearing a spiritual cleanse spiritual baths uh, some of you need to do that that's why um, I'm hearing these uh, these things so Pisces there's something that's uh, perhaps um, that could be lingering maybe you've been feeling not like yourself maybe you've been getting um, kind of like feeling a lack of energy, a little lethargic, maybe you've been feeling a lot of headaches, maybe there's been certain uh, ailments or certain things that you've been feeling and it's not to cause alarm. I feel like Spirit is saying that uh, if you do this, this will protect you. This will provide perhaps like you need an armor of protection right now. Um, everybody right now needs to just really protect their energy. Uh, a lot going on, you know, and so if energy is transferable, then you do want to be uh, mindful to establish uh, some sort of shield or force field around you, circle of protection around you. So that's just what I'm picking up uh, intuitively. I am going to use the uh, Witch's Wisdom deck for your reading today. So I will that you all are bliss and highly favored. Look at that. Soon as I'm talking about all of this protection, look what's on the bottom of this deck. Protection. I can't make this up, beloveds. This is a powerful confirmation to what I just said. So with this energy that I was picking up, I feel like some of you all are like on the precipice of, uh, of ending something. And there may be someone or something that will challenge you or something that is going to um, you know, like I just get challenged. There's something trying to challenge you. This could be someone in a competition. This could be even you not having uh, clarity or being grounded enough. So just, just like, you know, cleanse your energy. I heard clean, clear cleanse earlier. Some of you could do an egg cleanse as well. You know, an egg cleanse. I'm going to do a video. I'm going to start doing videos um, to show you how to do some of these things because I, I feel compelled to do that as well. But with this protection card, uh, I strongly feel like spirit, that spirit's way of saying not only are you protected, but they also want you to take it uh, um, in, you know, take it seriously to protect yourselves. So even if that's wearing like talismans, um, you know, protective jewelry uh, or anointing yourself with protective oils, taking spiritual baths or doing egg cleanse or saying prayers over yourself calling on Archangel Mikael and asking him to protect you from all corners of the earth, from all angels uh, at all directions. You know, just ensure that you are uh, protecting your energy, protecting your peace, because there could be some some threats. There could be some folks trying to perhaps manipulate your energy or send psychic attacks. Um, maybe you're already experiencing uh, night tremors. Maybe you're having, um, you're waking up during witching hours. And if you find yourself waking up during those hours constantly, that could be a sign that your energy is being uh, summoned or it's being uh, manipulated because uh, that is the prime time for witch witchery. You know, um, so uh, I do feel like Spirit is saying protect your energy. Uh, we have Lauren Hill, and she's singing X Factor. 
And if you look at the clock, it's 328. That reduces to four. So there, for some of you divine feminines, it could be a divine masculine. And for some of you divine masculine, spirit is saying this message is for you. Uh, but protect your energy, you know, fiery wall of protection. Um, if you're doing magic spells, you also need to protect yourself. So whenever you're doing magic spells, always light a candle uh, and call upon your angels. Um, never mess with anybody's energy because you don't know how high in spiritual rank that someone is. So if you are doing magic spells or doing things and with someone else in mind, uh, be mindful because something could boomerang, boomerang right back to you. Someone could have a protective um, energy around them, angels protecting them. Uh, and, you know, it could be returned to sender. So I do feel like spirit is saying, be pro you know, protect yourselves, uh, especially if you're summoning magic. Look at this. So if you are doing magic or if someone is doing magic on you, you are protected. We got Wiccan Reed. And this Wiccan Reed is basically like rules for how to uh, perform uh, magic spells um, ethically, morally, integrally. Uh, so if someone is going outside of these boundaries, which is like the bylaws of witchcraft, um, you're going to be protected. If someone is doing something out of malice, contempt, uh, you're protected. Um, and this also is saying if you're doing something out of malice and contempt, um, then you ought to make sure that you uh, know the repercussions, you know, what goes around comes around. So I'm a firm believer of that. There's universal law of karma. So whatever you put out there, just know Mama Ma has everyone's address. But if someone is uh, attempting to summon your energy, manipulate your energy, you are protected. That's what spirit is saying. And so if this is an ex-person, an ex-lover, an ex-karmic, they will absolutely reap what they sow. If you sow in good faith, you will receive good, good karma. If you sow in bad faith, you will, you will receive bad karma. So it goes around, comes around. So let's tap and tune in. Right now we have A. Marie, and this is called Talking to Me. So someone is, you know, definitely um, perhaps communicating with you telepathically or intuitively. Uh, maybe this is someone that you have not spoken to. I just get a sense of no communication. And if this is someone that you are communicating to, um, maybe this is someone that's deceptive. I'm getting a deceptive energy. But I say this is someone that's communicating with you intuitively because it's 330. That reduces the six. Six is associated with the first sign. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say, spirit. So let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Pisces. Spirit, let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for Pisces. What messages do you have for my Pisces? Spirit. Bottom of the deck, overall energy for Pisces. So we have invocation. So there's definitely someone that could be doing magic spells. You're invoking energy. That means that you are doing a ritual. That means that you're setting intention. There could be four people of significance. There could be four people that could be doing some sort of voodoo, juju, hoodoo, santeria. Uh, four people that are um, very profound. If this is people working against you, talking to you, like whatever this is, spirit, I feel like it's saying um, spirit is talking to you. So trust what you feel. If you're receiving certain sensations, if you feel something around certain individuals, um, trust what you're feeling is what I'm hearing. With this watchtower, you're being watched. So whatever, whoever you're attracting to you, because this is the overall energy that there is a ritual, which is why protection showed up. And now we got watchtower and it's winter. So this is somebody that you left they feel like you left them in the cold um, or they feel left behind. Um, this is someone cold-blooded also. I'm getting a sense of this is someone that could also be doing like freezer spells. Because I get, cause I get like freezer spells so they could be binding your energy. Um, but with this four, these four people, um, these could be people that are around you. People that you're talking to, that talks to you. So this is like, you know, snakes in the grass. Um, with this watchtower, I definitely get a sense of them like spying or just kind of like um, they're they're too close for comfort. And that's why I was getting a sense of like spirit saying, like, trust your intuition. Um, you also need to perform spiritual belt, uh, spiritual baths. And, and, and because there is someone doing a ritual, I was picking that up easily. And now it's coming out in the cards with what you're attracting to you or what's around you. Um, we have this uh, watchtower. So I get strongly like. This is, uh, you know, individuals watching you and they're watching you and they're learning something through watching you. So you have to be very mindful. Um, we now have Lucy Pearl and this is called Without You. So I do feel like these are people that you no longer communicate with. Uh, winter is a time when everything 
dies you know the trees die um you know all of the animals go into hibernation so i do feel like this is a relationship or connection that may have ended and someone could be very scorned very angry you know and so they could be doing some sort of binding spells through freezer spells or rituals uh to try to keep you stuck keep you stagnant someone that feels left out in the cold this is also a tower that could have fell um during the winter time so maybe someone you've left behind haven't spoken to since the winter time um they could be the ones summoning this energy or manipulating your energy so let's tap in so who is this our beautiful pisces to tap into you're very psychic and very intuitive pisces so trust what you're feeling i keep hearing that thank you spirit we finished my shopping and what we have on the bottom of the deck we have spell so there is someone come, you know, doing some sort of ritual, some sort of spell work. But I also feel like you, Spirit, is also saying, because this feather is showing me that your angels and guides are telling you that you're equally uh, powerful. So protect yourself. That's why I was getting a sense of like, you know, um, you needing to take like spiritual baths, um, creating a fiery, impenetrable wall of protection around yourself. So perhaps doing a protection spell um, just to, you know, ward off any negative energies or negative intentions that others may have. Uh, this is something that you may be feeling. Uh, this may be coming up. You know, you may just feel one day like, dang, I need to do a spell or I need to take a spiritual bath or I need to take an egg, you know, do an egg cleanse. Um, do it because it's coming up for a reason you know that's your intuition so trust what your intuition is telling you um trust that inner gumption so with manifestation i feel like you are uh absolutely very powerful in co-creating with source and utilizing uh your inner magi or your inner alchemist so what we have here is altar dedication for what you're attracting to you and we also have foundation homeland so spirit is literally saying get back to the essence of you your angels this is your ancestors when you dedicate time in front of your altars um if you don't have altars first and foremost you may need to create an altar for that deity or that angel or that ancestor um that was very significant one that you feel um, a connection to one that may visit you in your dreams one that you just resonate with you may not even know why maybe the, i'm seeing lord ganesha uh in my mind's eye so maybe some of you uh feel this connection to lord ganesha or maybe you uh feel this connection to buddha um i'm getting a sense even um archangel Mikael, baba ogun uh, Baba Alegua, like there's a connection that you feel with, you know, some um, deity or an angel or, or uh, you know, a goddess or a goddess, a goddess or a god energy. And it's like this is a part of who you are. Um, this is what you this is how you can remain grounded. Um, you have to stand on, uh, you know, stand up for something that you believe in also. Um, but this is also speaking to you with the foundation. It's like uh, you have to establish a new foundation. So whatever has crumbled or whatever has ended, whatever that cycle was, it was because it was not solid, you know. And so you had to destroy it so that you could rebuild. But I feel like you are um, definitely being called to uh, dedicate more time uh, connecting with your ancestors or building an altar within your home, uh, making offerings, giving offerings to your ancestors, or perhaps giving offerings to uh, Mother Nature, Mother Gaia, um, going out uh, in nature and placing an apple in front of a tree and just thanking them, um, pouring water, pouring libation, giving your ancestors their favorite foods or their favorite treats. Um, doing rituals on certain feast days, but this is about dedicating and, and devoting more time connecting. And through that, you will get back to self. Um, because I feel like it's been a journey. I feel like you've been on this dark night of the soul journey, and now you're uh, getting back. You're getting back to your roots. Uh, and you feel very uh, solid now, very independent, and very self-sufficient. Or maybe this is um, a sense of, you know, you now um having someone who could be doing some sort of spell to bring you back to them um someone could be trying to uh re-establish some sort of connection because maybe they feel this connection you know there's distance that's like a map in the back so whenever you see maps that means like there's distance and maybe someone whatever you're attracting to you this is someone who has um 
really been summoning and calling this in. Maybe they go to their to their uh, angels and ancestors to call you in because this is whatever you're attracting to you, what they're doing. So they can be manifesting something. How they feel about you is that you are a master manifester as well. Um, I see a likeness here almost now that I'm seeing this. Um, but let's tap in and see. Let's see what the cards have to say. So let's see. Who is this person and how do they feel about our beloved Pisces? Who is this person Pisces are attracted to them? How do they feel about Pisces? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protect. I can't make this up. Look what flew right back out. Spell. So this is someone that could be like definitely uh, pulling. Look, and then you got boundaries. So, okay. So I get it now. Just like I said. So when you have boundaries, that means you are protected. You have cut people, places, and things out of your life that was not serving you. You're also very wise and very intuitive. And you know, because spirit tells you, with that feather there, it's like you receive divine intervention from spirit. You receive transmissions, downloads, and it tells you what you need to cut. Remember what I said, clean, you know, cleaning, um, clearing, and um, clean, clear, cleanse. And that's what the boundaries are. When you have this sword, this ace of swords is like the sword of truth. So you now see things clearly, but you also have the ability to purge, to release, to cut yourself free. When you have boundaries, that means that there is self-love. You know, you have a lot of self-love as well. Um, you're not allowing anyone or anything to, um, you know, to uh, insult your intelligence or uh, to... To be like that energy vampire or to leech, it's, it's really this beautiful energy of like, you know, maybe you've done a protective spell, as I said, and it has allowed you to see things so clear. This is like the ace of swords also to me. So it's like you have a bird's eye view. You're looking at things um, very clearly. You know, you see things very clearly. There's, a, there's this illumination, or there's this clarity, and maybe that's what you're doing is you're creating boundaries. The spell is a spell of protection. You're protecting yourself, just as spirit um, encouraged you to do in the beginning. This is powerful. Look what we have here. We got the moon, cycles. So cycles are coming to completion, and there's three people here utilizing this full moon right now, utilizing the scorpionic moon energy to invoke some sort of ritual. This could be yourself. I see seven people. I don't know what's going on, but we got seven people here now. So we got four people on this one invoking and then we have three people here with this moon card so there's definitely someone using this full moon this could be your energy or someone that you have around you that could be utilizing this scorpio full moon to invoke something in your life but spirit is also saying you know that you are uh equally in tune tapped in and to also utilize this energy to create your own protective spell because if someone is trying to uh, perform some sort of ritual I feel like they're utilizing this full moon energy they're utilizing like I said there's a lot going on celestially with the eclipse energy the the Pluto in retrograde Mercury in retrograde full moon in Scorpio along with the Taurus season so that's a lot of energy but Scorpio and Taurus they are like opposites of one another but they also complement complement one another so that's an energy of balance I'm getting balance yin yang so remain balanced, remain grounded, trust your intuition, as I said. And this is also about seeing things clearly. So you will have some sort of clarity or there will be some sort of truth that comes to light. Whatever was hidden, whatever was hidden is going to come to light. That's powerful. And there goes that incubation. So you're waiting. You know, something is being prepared. I almost feel like it's like... Um, Something is about to take place. So let's see what's hidden in the energy. And we have the um, marriage lives, and this is called All That I Can Say. And then we have this uh, chalice here, fulfillment. So this is your energy of water, energy, water element. And that ace, you know, aces are always gifts from the divine. It's always speaking to like a new cycle. So this could be about, you know, the healing that you've had to... Um, you know, do that also is, you know, about that uh, cleanse, that clean, clearing and cleansing, purging, purifying your energy, you know, doing those spiritual baths, uh, doing those egg cleanses, you know, being sure to to purify yourself. What flew out is we have the Book of Shadows secret. So you have some folks in hidden um, in plain sight because I feel like they are 
amongst you. They're around you because we have four people here. And then we saw another three people. So if seven uh, people are of significance, whether you have seven family members or maybe there's seven people at your job or maybe this, you know, seven is very significant. Seven is also this year. Seven is this is a seven universal year. Maybe something is going to happen in July because that's the seventh month. Or maybe something will happen in seven days, seven weeks um, or on the seventh um, I'm here in seven seven now so this seven seven it will be seven 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 because it will be July 7th and like I said this is a seven universal year so seven 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 that's this, that something is coming in something that is hidden and with all that I could say maybe someone with three it's 344 on the clock so that 344 is reduces to 11 so 11 is uh, reduces to two. I'm getting the high priestess or the high priest energy. So this high priest or high priest will be exposed. I feel like spirit is going to show you something because seven, 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 uh, seven times three reduces to 21. 21 is the world card. It's associated with the world card in traditional tarot. So I feel like there's something finally coming to a close or maybe you're going to learn something, gain a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself. Or maybe there is something or someone that's at a distance. You've created space emotionally, mentally, physically, um, whatever secrets are going to be exposed. But the Book of Shadows is often called, um, that's a, like a spell recipe book. That's where you would, uh, you know, ascribe all of your uh, spell rituals. I mean, your spell re recipes and your s ritual recipes. So um, what's hidden is I feel someone is utilizing something um they're concocting something with all that i could say they could also be speaking words uh words of spells spells bind so be mindful of what you allow people to speak on you also like if someone says something like um you know how you could be like oh man you, you may just be sharing and sometimes you can overly share and i feel like that's why spirit also said trust your intuition around certain people because you could be telling uh, very intricate details about yourself and the same people that are trying to do these rituals and these spells could be using what you're saying against you. So with all that I can say, I feel like spirit is telling you zip it. Like don't say anything. Stop speaking about what you're going through or stop speaking about your plans because somebody could be trying to thwart your plans or block your plans. Remember, I was getting distance. Um, someone, I feel like someone's closing in or attempting to close in on you. That same book of, um, you know, the same uh, ritual is in that person that you're attracting to you. This is the same book that's on their altar space. So they're invoking their angels, their deities to work against you, to call something in, especially with that 11 that we just saw uh, with 344. Um, that is telling me high priestess vibes. So just be mindful not to share uh, your personal information because someone could literally be trying to manipulate your energy. Um, with Homeland, this is someone you're familiar with. I feel like this is someone that could be from your neck of the woods, someone that could be from your your you know maybe even your own family maybe even your own um friend group maybe within your work dynamic uh but these are familiar grounds and and but this is someone that you are very distant from you know even if you may live in the same you know same area it's like there's distance i just get a sense of distance um with homeland uh i do feel a strong sense of like with foundation um maybe someone is literally like you know um learning you know perhaps this could be almost like i'm getting codependency maybe someone feels like you you ground them you you, you know and that's why i was getting freeze the spell because they're trying to bind you know trying to keep you stuck perhaps with this fulfillment here with chalices on the bottom of the deck the outcome I do feel there's a, a cleansing that's required, a cleansing that's necessary. Maybe some of you are manifesting love. Someone could be doing rituals to manifest you into their life, or maybe you're doing this, you know, uh, whatever the case may be. Um, I'm getting a strong sense of like what's, you know, what's hidden is going to be exposed because uh, this is Book of Shadows and this is what's hidden. And with the secret, I just feel like there's going to be a secret that will come to light maybe someone is holding a secret that they love you you know so much so that they could be doing a ritual to bring you back into their life whatever the case may be we have um 
Vivian Green, and this is called What is Love? So if someone is doing a love spell, you know, you got to question whether or not it's real love. Because if it doesn't happen on its own, on its own accord and its own divine timing, or if it's just someone manipulating energy, it's like, what is love? Is it really love? Or is it just that you're under this, this illusion, you know, this, this someone is... Ill, you know, using ill use of your ions against you, being that mad, you know, because when you're doing a ritual, and it's almost like you, you intuitively may know this, which is why you're doing your own spell. Maybe you both are manifesting it and calling one another in, period. Maybe you're attracting what you are to you. But with this chalice, I do feel like there's a cleanse, a purge, a release, um, even a healing that's taken place. This is what I'm getting a strong sense of, even if you've healed already. And this is someone watching you. See that? Remember we had that that opened up the reading with protection and then it says watchtower and the ace of cups. So someone is watching you. And with that sunflower there, it's almost like, you know, there is this sense of someone seeing just how uh, strong, how strong you are, how determined, and also how intuitive I feel like you're very intuitive, like you're trusting your instincts, trusting your, your gut instincts. So let's tap in. So what is the outcome for my beloved Pisces? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. I can't make this up. And we have scrying mirror, shadow. So maybe you're just doing your shadow work, or maybe there's someone that is uh, doing mirror magic on you. If you look closely, there's a face. And my right ear just started ringing when I said that. So someone could be doing shadow work on you. Someone could be doing some mirror magic. I'm definitely getting a sense of that. It's my right ear that's ringing. So with that right ear ringing, that spirit telling you um, that there is someone within your um, within your cipher, someone within, within close vicinity, you know, that, that you may need to, um, you know, kind of like take a step back. Take a step back. There's someone watching you. This also could be just like I said, you doing your shadow work. There's also someone that could be kind of mirroring you in a sense. We have um, Maybon Balance. Look at this. Wow. This is crazy, beloveds. Look what we got here. And we got intention. Oh, wow. So you are powerful enough to protect yourself. Look what Spirit is showing you. So power is here. So spirit is telling you, you have the power to protect yourself because you are, you know, also very in tune, very sharp, very tapped in with this intention. There is someone, you know, that could be attempting to manipulate your energy or send some sort of psychic attacks. This is someone that you have left behind or someone that felt left behind. You know, you could be dealing with someone. Like I said, I tripped up and said Scorpio. Uh, along with cancer in the beginning of the read it could be another water sign that you're dealing with whatever this is this is someone um that you are protected from because pumpkins denote protection as well in this same deck um i mean in my halloween deck a pumpkin represents protection but this is showing you know that you have left someone behind you had to make it um a, a, your business to leave someone behind because there was something very i feel toxic there was a hex or some sort of spell put on you and you've banished it i feel like your angels and your guides have helped you balance it that's why you're back in balance uh back in equilibrium with yourself with that foundation card this is someone that was throwing you off i was getting a sense of codependency you know when you are uh, codependent on another person or if you have codependency issues um, you're never going to fully know how to stand erect or to stand your ground or to be bold in circumstances because you're always going to feel the need or necessity um, to use another person as your crutch. But I feel you've finally seen something for what it truly was and you've broken free from that illusion. Um, you've cut your free from some you've cut yourself free from some sort of uh, karmic cord. Uh, so this is a beautiful energy and you have also found balance within yourself. So this is beautiful energy, my beautiful Pisces. Uh, trust your intuition. Know that whatever is hidden is going to be exposed. But also remember what Spirit said in terms of protecting yourself. Because there is someone hexing you, um, but it's banished. With that banishment there, 
um, it's just showing you that, you know, whatever someone has thrown at you, um, your angels and guides are giving you the means to cut yourself free from that, uh, to break that yoke, have a spell. That's why I was feeling earlier, strongly before we touch the cards, that it was very necessary for you uh, to take a spiritual bath, to take an egg cleanse. Um, you can even decompress out in nature. Uh, walk barefoot. That allows you to detoxify um, your body. You know, it allows you to really uh, ground your energy um, and release what you no longer need to carry uh, and, and, and free yourself. But you do have some heavy energy here, Pisces. So please trust your intuition. Even if this isn't another water sign, I feel just the reference of water is just speaking to your intuition. Water is ruled by, um, you know, water, excuse me, represents um, a cleansing, healing. Uh, water purifies, but water is also um, associated with your intuition because when you think of the moon, which showed up, uh, it's really telling you that um, you have to trust what you know intuitively, instinctually. The moon is... Uh, is triggered by the moon. Uh, the waters are triggered by the moon. The tides move based upon the moon. So uh, whatever is hidden, whatever these secrets are, I feel like there will be something exposed. Even with if if this is something within yourself in your own um, dark night of the soul work or your own shadow work, you will see something. There will be something exposed, and just trust what comes up and deal with it. Um, but I do feel strongly like. There is uh, a strong sense of you coming back into equilibrium because we have balance on the bottom of the deck. And this is just beautiful. Um, just confirmation that, you know, whatever this is, isn't going to affect you because you are protected. You are spiritually guided. Uh, I feel there's a spiritual warfare. Someone, um, you know, some of you may have uh, someone that has a spiritually uh, transmitted disease. So they could be really uh, a leech. This could be an energy vampire. This could be someone you cut off and now they've turned their pain into, um, they have this visceral, there's just this anger, you know, um, and they, it's almost like a vengeance, but I feel like you are protected. So definitely continue to do what you have to do to protect yourself. Uh, we have Jill Scott and this is called My Love. So you have to do this for yourself. I feel like you 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 are showing self love because uh, my love is is about self love. My love is my love. So this is about you loving yourself and um, whoever these individuals were. I feel like they for a long time may have been able to um, manipulate your energy and they benefited perhaps from you giving love, being kind, uh, being thoughtful, um, being generous, and maybe you have created boundaries with these individuals. Uh, maybe you were um, someone that they heavily relied on. Uh, maybe they were codependent on you. And um, they could be still summoning some energy to try to, you know, like I said, bind you or restrict you in some way. But just just continue to trust your intuition. I feel spirit is protecting you. That's what showed up before we touched the cards. And then it showed up again to just confirm that message. But speak powerful affirmations i am my uh manifestations uh will start to trickle in um definitely protect your energy definitely perform spiritual baths i'm seeing the number seven so i do feel like maybe you need to take a spiritual bath for seven days um to get rid of this energy to exercise whatever this demon or this hex because someone was trying to hex you beloved too many low vibrational cards coming out so that's confirmation so that's your reading pisces i hope the message is resonated Please be kind. Hit the like button, the show, the share button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloved. Love is love is love. Until next time, send a big fat out to you. Peace.